AI is a great thing. You can program an algorithm to, uh, you know, with different data. You could feed it different data, and then it will learn based on that, and then produce something new based on on that. And it's a good idea in theory. AI is a great thing in theory as well. Because you can, yeah, we're not quite there in terms of AI, and this is another <laughs> example of that. Because there is a newish AI called, I think it's pronounced Attention Gan. It's mm. A T T N. And all caps, G-A-N. Yeah. If I pronounced it wrong, I'm sorry, and I don't need to hear about it in the comments. Um, <laughs> generative is, adversarial network is what it's It's a generative for. adversarial network, and it's uh, basically, it's made by Microsoft's Deep Learning Technology Center. Um, it would take in, in this instance, it takes in words and creates an image based on that. Descriptions, and, yeah. Descriptions. So what they've done before was they fed it um, different pictures of birds, and it was able to produce birds pretty well, but when you feed it other things, it gets a little looser at this point <laughs> in the research. You can go online and do it now, and we did. So no, I haven't seen these I haven't either. seen these either. Oh, okay. I right. gave them to Andrew, who is the producer, and he put them into the algorithm, and this is what came out. The quick brown oh, fox dogs. jumps over the lazy dog. That's actually beautiful. That looks like a Monet. Yeah. That, I, I would buy that. <laughs> that, yeah, that looks like yeah. it's like an impression. Oh, that looks like a Picasso. Um, a, a tense, tense ball, ball of sexual, sexual need. This came from Fifty, one of the Fifty Shades books. I don't know which one. I googled it. I haven't read them. Um, Sarah, you took that. <laughs> yeah, it's from Fifty Shades. Oh my god. Uh, I don't know which one. Maybe of Grey. Maybe the other ones that their names I don't know. Uh, it looks like an ostrich to me. Or a golf club? It just looks like a Picasso to me. Or maybe two penguins I don't know kissing. why I'm basing this Oh, it's on. a bunch of puffins. Oh, jeez. Okay. A single plum floating in perfume served in a man's hat. That's from The Simpsons. That is. Um, this looks like... A heart. Gummy bears. Uh, amber from Jurassic Park. Uh, some kind of lab. <laughs> I like this. I... I might actually it's shiny. I it could see someone 3D. like putting the words and the picture in their living room. And the I like that it's, me. it looks 3D. A little boy wondering, wondering when the balloon, balloon man. man will return to the park. He's not wandering around the park. Yeah, it looks like birds. It's beautiful. Is it? I think it is. Okay. But art is highly interpretive. I mean, especially this kind of art which isn't really depicting anything. The Okay, it's abstract. Uh-huh. Oh. Ooh. That looks like a still life. That looks like, um, it reminds me of teeth, like dentures. Oh no, I, I didn't like see this. that and now it's creepy. <laughs> do you like green eggs and ham? I do not like them, Sam, I am. I do not like green eggs and ham. Well, at least they put green, green in it. And ham is kind of that color. Green? I think. No, ham, like the pink part. <laughs> oh, okay. Like ham is pink. Okay. I'm, I'm trying my best. <laughs> at least there's green in it, that's it. We're no strangers to love. You know the rules, and so do I. That it looks, looks like, a, like a monorail, and that looks like a creamy, creepy Norman Rockwell. And then there's just like pieces of bodies. Yeah. <laughs> what Some even? Some of those were nice. That first one was pretty. What even is art, right? Am I right, everyone? <laughs> so you can do this now. Um, with their visualizations of text-based captions, they seem to get weirder when you put in descriptions of people. Yeah, so there's one that they had in the article that was uh, Mark Zuckerberg. And I mean, it, the painting was actually nice. It was just blue and it had like, it looked like stacked boxes, but they were colorful and it was just, but I was like, how the, how did we get that out of That's Mark the essence Zuckerberg. of Mark Zuckerberg. You can take it <laughs> as you want. Maybe he'll be the next president. Maybe he's ruining the current state of America. You know, it's up to you. Just like all of this art, you know, sometimes technology can be beautiful and sometimes it can be terrible. And it's up to you to decide what this one is. Want to see more videos like this? Subscribe to the Nerd Alert channel below and don't forget to become a TYT member. Get access for as little as $4.99 a month. Download the TYT Plus app on your phone or head over to tyt.com slash join today.